Now, we've been paying millions of dollars over the last few years to show movies to inmates, so I'm a little confused as to why we can't just show them DVDs, and could we be breaking the law in our own homes without even knowing it? We're joined by WGY legal analyst Paul Harding of Martin Harding. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Chuck. Hey, Paul. So this this plan, it actually allows inmates to watch movies, but it they have to buy the rights to it? I'm confused how it works. You know, it's one of these stories that sort of uh, really gets a lot of attention from the taxpayers here in New York. Here's the deal. Uh, whenever you uh, run a movie at a, at a venue other than your home, so if you do it publicly, it could be a college, in this case a prison, you have to pay a licensing fee. And the company called Swank Motion Pictures, they've got the deal set up with the movie producers and the people who have access to these movies. They go around the country and they sell it to these venues. In this case, they sold the deal to New York State. Uh, just under $200,000 a year, and they have access to all the new and, and happening movies, and they run them in the prisons. So they have to be first-run movies? I mean, what happens if you go out to, like, Redbox and grab a movie off a of Redbox? <laughs> you know, it's the same thing. What what you can do is you can do it at home, but you can't do it in a public venue. We see the same thing when we're licensing uh, um, music. And if you can do so, you can run the radio if you have a, if you have a restaurant or a bar. But if you want to run other types of music, even your own DVD, uh, you do have to pay a licensing fee technically. So you're in a situation where they've decided if they run movies that the prisoners are a bit happier and there's less unrest in the prison. Uh, but the same thing would apply. You just can't grab an old DVD and throw it on. That is, in essence, uh, taking this movie. And you see that little trailer sometimes at the beginning of the movies. Any reproduction of this movie could result in uh, a fine or a penalty up to five years in prison. And, and that's what it's referring to, is that you can only play it at home to your friends and family, but if you're at a public venue, it needs a license. So it doesn't matter then if some, if, 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 it's a, if it's a money-making operation or somebody has to pay a fee to see the to see the entertainment, whatever it is. Correct. You know, these community events where you see movies under the stars, I mean, the city of Albany does that too. They have to pay a licensing fee for that as well, or they should be if they're not? <laughs> you know, you bring up a great question. I remember <laughs> being in law school and we were sitting there, and we were kind of watching a, a few good men, and they were showing it like every night, and I'm pretty sure that they didn't pay a licensing fee to do that, and technically, you have to. So what happens, this stuff does happen at these at these events, and you know maybe a school even puts it on, and there may be an exemption actually for, for schools, um, but, but these events will, will go on, and they're not paying the licensing fee. There's really not the licensing fee police out there. But what happens is if you something like the prisons or college campuses, it will come to light. And they just, the state just can't be held uh, to violate their own copyright law. So we're right on NFL season in bars with football games. So what can they play? They can just play like a regular cable channel on their bars. But if, if it's a pay service like, uh, like Direct TV or Red NFL Zone Sunday or something, ticket. yeah, did they yeah, have to pay a special fee? They do. I looked at that, and anywhere between 500 to as much as $45,000, some huge sports bar in New York City pays to have the rights to this uh, direct TV, uh, the, uh, the NFL package. So it depends on literally the, how big the space is and the number of TVs. Wow. But if you want to have friends over to watch the game, you're in the clear. <laughs> you're in the clear to have just a Sunday game at your house. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Paul. WGY legal analyst Paul Harding of Martin Harding and Mazzotti, 1-800-LAW-1010.